Hey YouTube, uh, I'm out here at the storage yard where I keep my boat. I'm going to try to exchange uh, some uh, bearing caps for new ones. The, uh, the old ones, the rubber inserts have deteriorated to the point that they're cracked and letting water in. And you can't have that with a boat trailer. So I'm going to try to get this done and we'll see how it goes here. Here's the bearing caps call them dust caps you can see how the middle of it is is broken out and uh, would let water in so I'll see if I can get these off of here to I've got some new ones in here to replace them with okay it looks like I'm gonna be able to take my channel locks and pry this a little bit to get it off yeah there we go there's the old one off of there. There's the rubber cap that allows you to, to grease them. And uh, this is uh, the broken grease cap is, is why I'm having to, to replace them. Now to the replace them with the new cap uh, looks like it would be a whole lot easier with a, a driver that I bought. So it it probably costs three times as much as the new dust caps and the and the rubber seals, but it may be really beneficial in trying to put this back on. May have to uh, prop up the camera or something here to, so you can see that. Well, I wasn't able to prop up the camera, but here you can see that I've got it started. Use the, the driver to get it, and hitting it with a hammer helps it start in and, and seat fully. Here it is with the new dust cap on it. You now all I've got to do is put the, uh, the rubber seal on and then probably next weekend I'll come back and and grease these up again and fill them full so that no water can get in there we'll see how easy it is to or hard it is to put the the uh, rubber seal back in that was pretty easy now all I've got to do is clean up that grease down there, and this side will be done. Here's the other side. It may be a little clearer to see with the sun shining on it, but this grease cap isn't in, in as bad, but you can see right down in there, maybe, that it's starting to crack. And I guess they only have a certain life, especially when they're exposed to petroleum products. And this one came off pretty easy with the channel, channel locks just rocking it back and forth. You can see this grease in here is a lot dirtier than the other. Probably has gotten exposure to water and, and dust. So I'll have to really grease these once I get, get back out of here. I've got to say that this, uh, this driver that I got to put those on with even though it was, you know, it was like 16 bucks or something like that. But man, that made this so easy to get that on and get it started. Sometimes putting those back into the, the uh, uh, hub there can be a little tricky trying to hit it on one side and then the other and, and uh, jockeying it back and forth and getting it crooked. And so this makes it pretty easy, easy to punch right back in there so we'll get the, the rubber cap in here. Probably the hardest part of this whole thing was being 70 years old and having to squat down here on top of rock and with a knee on the rock and the back cinching up. And, but got her done. So uh, I'd like to give a plug to eTrailer.com. 
Uh, if you've got boat parts, uh, boat trailer parts and stuff that you need, uh, I'll tell you what, they're, they're handy. They, they ship really quick. They're uh, really nice to deal with. And uh, once again, got a, another job done. But always, uh, always remember to read and follow the label directions carefully. And there's some YouTube videos too that'll help. So there's the red Jeep. We'll see you guys. Have a good day.